Hello guys, this is my 47th video and react series and in this tutorial we are going to learn about use effect hook. Okay, this is the official document of react. If you have any doubts and if you are facing issues in understanding anything, then you can refer this document and it is completely official. You can refer this document and here in this document you are having tons of examples. You can read this and you will get to know why we are using this use effect. I am going to refer this document and I will be explaining you about use effect, complete use effect and you will understand why we are using use effect and where it is used. Here you can see to run some additional code after the react has updated the DOM. We are just going to write one example. I am just going to explain you about that. Suppose this is one complete e-commerce website and here in this website I am having multiple products. Okay, Like I am having here multiple jeans, multiple products I am having in this website. Now whenever some user login into this website, whenever this page reloads, I want this all the products, whatever I am having here, that should be visible to me. Again, when new user logins, again I want this products to be rendered, okay? Again, I want this product to be shown. So this is what they are explaining you. Once you render, once we render our app, if we want to run some additional code, if we want to display some additional data, then we are using this use effect and it is very, very useful. And this use effect is used in every project because okay, once our page gets loads, we always want something should be displayed. And here, and here we are using use effect and this is very, very useful. Suppose here is the new user, new user logins and again new user logins, another user again new user logins like that it keeps on going. and always i want this products should be listed okay we are going to write simple example then you will have this better understanding of this and also here we have this beautiful example you can just refer this example and also i will be explaining you this example now here we are going to write one example to understand what is use effect inside index.js file i have already rendered this app component now here inside this app.js here i'll just write one h1 and here i'm just going to write here good morning I'll save this. I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see the output has come. Good morning. Now we are going to add states and we are going to change the data. To add state, we are just going to change. We are just going to import this one use state. Okay, we have already understood what is use state and we have already made projects on this use state. If you don't know what is use state, then please refer this video so that you will get to know what is this use state. And below this, I'm just going to write that one. And here I'm just going to create data. And here I'll just write here set data. Now here I'm just going to write one. Uh, I'll just give the initial value as uh, good. Okay, let me just give here good evening. I'll save this. And also below this, I'll just write one paragraph. And inside this, I'm just going to write this data. Okay, this data will be having this whatever value I am having here inside this use state that will be the initial value for this one and here good evening will be printed. Now if I show you the output you can see good evening has been printed. Okay, this is how it works. Now in place of this I am just going to remove this. In place of this I am just going to write that data here. I will just write here data and here I am just going to write here good morning. I will save this. And you can see I'm having this output good morning now. Okay, this will be the initial data for this variable. Now, whatever changes I do, whatever updation I do using this function, I'm going to update the data and that updated data will become the initial data for this variable and that will be printed here. Now, below this, I'm just going to create one button and for this button, I'm just going to write here click me. I'll save this and if you see here, I'll be having one button here click me and also I'm just going to import import app file because I have done some styling for button I'll just import this app file and here I'm just going to write class class name is equal to btn okay I, ha I have just done simple stylings you can see here I'll just refresh this one you can see I have just done simple stylings here I'm having this button click me now whenever I click on this button I want this data whatever I'm having here it should be changed so here for this button I'm just going to add one on click and here I'll just write one function on click and here inside this I'm just going to write here change data. I'll just copy this function and here I'm going to define that function. Below this I'll just define that function. 
now whenever i click on the button i want this data should be changed okay whatever value i am having here i want this value should be changed so i have to update the data to update the data i am having this one i'll just copy this and here i am going to paste and inside this i'm just going to write here good evening and also you have to import like this use state i'll refresh this now when i click on this button you can see the data is been changed from good morning to good evening suppose i want another action should be executed so here i'm just going to separate using comma and here i'm just going to write one console i'll just write console console dot log and inside this i'm just going to write here i am in console and i'm just going to close this parenthesis here i'll save this I'll just refresh this one. I'll inspect this. Now here in console, if you see here, I'll just come to console. And in console, if you see here, whenever I click on the button, you can see I am getting this. I am in console. I am getting this output. But the data here is not getting changed from good morning to good evening. I'll just refresh this again. Now you can see in my console, I'll just remove this. In my console, I don't have any data. And here. when i click on this you can see i am getting this i am in console output but the data is not getting changed if i just remove this console okay if i remove this action from here because this is giving the priority to console and the second action is been printed and this first action whatever data is getting changed that is not been printed here okay that is not given much priority but i want both the action should be executed so here is where we are going to use use effect hook I'll just do Control Z. Now again, if I show you, I'll just refresh this one. Now, when I click on this button, the data is not getting changed, but I am getting this output. Now we are going to see how to handle this one. Now here below this, I'm just going to write this use effect. Okay, you have to write like this, and inside this, I'm just calling this function, and inside this, I'm just going to pass this console instead of writing here. Instead of writing here, I'm just pasting it here. because i want whenever i load my website i want this console should also be printed and also i want to change the data i'll just come here i'll refresh this one okay i'm i'm just going to import this i'll be writing here use effect and also we have to import like this use effect from use effect from react you can see here as soon as i load this website i am getting this i am in console because use effect will run whenever we are loading or whenever we are refreshing our website whatever code we are having inside use effect that will be executed and that will be printed you can see i am in console is been printed now when i click on this button you can see the data is been changed and also i am getting this i am in console again Okay, now we are going to handle that one because each time we don't want to render that one, each time we don't want to print this, we are going to see this one. Now suppose maybe here I am having one more button, and inside this button I am just going to give here change data one, and also I am just going to copy this function. Here I will be pasting that function. I'll just write here change data one, and here let me just write here good night. and here i'm just going to create one more state i'll just give here data 1 and also set data 1 instead of good morning i'm just going to give here good afternoon and this data i just want to print here inside this h1 inside h1 i just want to print data 1 data 1 i'll save this i'll come here now you can see here i'm having two buttons first i'm having this good morning text and second i'm having good afternoon but here you can see as soon as i refresh this one i am in console is been printed now when i click on this button you can see i am in console is been printed again and the data is been changed but again when i click on this button you can see again i am in console because the number is getting increased here from 2 to 3 again it is been printed and the data is been changed okay now we are going to change the data Uh, we are just going to write here set data one because I want to change this text. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. As soon as I load this, you can see I'm in console is been printed here. When I click on this button again, I'm in console is been printed. Again, when I click on this button, you can see I am in console is printed because this use effect is running each time. 
okay again and again it's running when an action is performed it is running okay i don't want this one suppose when i load this website i want only once my product should be displayed i don't want each time my product should be displayed whenever i click on the button i don't want my product should be displayed again and again once it is displayed i want it to show i don't want it to refresh it again and again so for that here we are just separating using comma and second argument second parameter we are just passing this empty array now this empty array what it is going to do is it will refresh it is going to print only once now here i'll refresh this one as soon as i load you can see i am in console has been printed but when i click on this button you can see it's not been printed only one it is going to load and data will be displayed and again when i click on this button it is not going to work only once it is going to render only once it is going to load and this data will be displayed again and again when i perform actions this data will not be printed inside my website okay this is where use effect is very useful whenever react has updated the dom if you want to perform some additional actions then use effect is very very useful and this concept you have to master to make bigger projects in react okay we are going to make more projects using this use effect then you will have much better idea in this concept till then that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day